This is such an important week, so dear to my heart, passing the torch. And we think about this, how much this is on the heart of God as well. You know, as we look at God's word and try to understand just the importance of what it means to see one generation following Christ after another, we don't have to look far than the life of the Apostle Paul, who, of course, is one of the foremost missionaries and leaders of the church. In the letter to the Philippians that Paul wrote, he's in prison. He's facing death. He's not sure if he's going to live or if he's going to die. And it's amazing, within Philippians chapter 1, he has a conversation with himself where he's like, hmm, should I die? Because if I die, I get to go to heaven. And he's really excited about that. He says, that's far better to be with Christ. But as he mulls it over and listens to the Spirit of God, in the end he decides, you know what? It's best I remain among the Christian Philippians in order to see them grow in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Here's what he specifically says, and listen so carefully. He says this in Philippians 1 verse 24, but to remain in the flesh. So he says, so in order to stay alive, he says, is more necessary on your account. His heart for the disciples, the believers who follow Christ. And he says this in verse 25, convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with you all. Okay. So he's like, I know I need to stay here on earth. I can't die yet. I can't go to heaven yet, but here's the reason why. Here it is for your progress and joy in the faith. Now, that's amazing here. What Paul is saying is he's like, I want to go to heaven, but not yet. I'm going to stay here because I want to see your progress and your joy in the Lord Jesus Christ. That word progress, it means to advance against obstacles. This is the world we live in right now. It is getting dark. There are obstacles to Jesus all over the place. But Paul says, the purpose of my life is to see other people saved and growing in Jesus Christ. I say to you today and to me, the single greatest purpose of our lives is to see people grow and advance in their relationship with Jesus Christ. That's why this program is so important. That's your opportunity and my opportunity right now to make our lives count. What are we doing? What are we living for? More money, a better vacation, our own personal reputation? Really? Not according to God's word. We're living to see people spend eternity with Jesus Christ and this is a medium that God has set apart in a unique way in our nation at this time. Be like Christ. Be like the Apostle Paul. Help us be the same to say we exist to see people transformed for the purpose and the glory as it says right in here in Philippians 2 for the glory of Jesus Christ. Passing the torch. It should be everything. Right now think about it. How can you be a part of this ministry to see people reach hundreds of thousands across this nation, across this world at this time. I'm excited. The Lord's excited. We pray you are excited and believing where you are right now. How is God speaking to you? How can you be a part? Paul's in prison. Maybe you feel like, I can't do much. You can do so much. Again, for the greatest purpose ever. Excited to see what God will do now back and over to our team.